This is Sir Alan Sugar. This is Sir Alan Sugar. Sir Alan Sugar. Recently sold computer giant Amstrad from the back of a van. These days, Sir Alan's worth more than eight pounds. Eight pounds? Right. Shut it. Don't ever, ever underestimate me. I've got a B in GCSE French. I know the words to candle in the wind. I won an egg and spoon race once. I drink a thousand cups of coffee a day. My car can go 100 miles an hour. Nice. Never underestimate me. I'm certainly better than you tossers. You're supposed to be the brightest lot of entrepreneurs in the country. I am technically useless. Encouraging, isn't it? Right, who's next? It's my birthday today, Sir Alan. I'm 36 today. Are you having a laugh or what? In your CV, what's the first thing you wrote on it? I eat in a lot of Italian restaurants. Congratulations. I am very into art and I, I find it very difficult to have conversations about football. This is this is not this is not a football match. I mean they're all as you know bad as each other, quite honestly. The bloody, 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 bleeding, bloody, 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 the bloody apprentice. It's the bloody apprentice. In comes the most important man of the day, Sir Alan Sugars, on television. Sir Alan, we'll see you now. Let's get on with it, shall we? Every week, I'm going to set you business tasks. One team will win, and in the losing team, one of you will get banged up in some Cuban jowl somewhere. But the thing is, in fact, this is nothing at all to do with business. It don't mean jack shit, quite frankly. You are here to enhance some form of media career. That's what it's all about. This is an audition, yeah. you know, for a job in a television company. But I think you are wasting your time because you're a kind of a, and I put this in the nicest possible way, you're a bloody shambles and you haven't got a bloody clue. Not a bloody clue. You ain't that bloody great. You're called a bloody loser. You know, it's as simple as that. So you know where to go for your next job? You'll get a job at McDonald's. Yeah. And let me tell you that I really do hope that you are signing on at the end of this bloody show. One of the most frequently asked questions of me is, Sir Alan, do you think you've got a ginormous cock? In other words, is your dick a handful or is it that much? Um, and <laughs> I think it was a little bit longer than that, actually. I, let me put it this way. My cock and bollocks stretch from Tower Bridge right up to Westminster. There's going to be a big firework display there tonight. Enjoy the views. I'm going to put it all on display, open to the public. <laughs> Let's have a break here. <sighs> Woo! Woo! <Brrr. laughs> Tell us about Pants Man. Good idea. I've got a nice treat lined up for you. You might know that this week is uh, London Fashion Week. I'm going there with my family. I want to be right on the catwalk, jumping and flipping backwards and forwards, packaged in the most horrible way, in tight panty girdles and a 30 quid skirt. And then I'm going to stand up and say, Hello, girls, how's my pants doing? He's got his pants on outside his clothes. Do you think that appeals to a woman? I don't give a shit. Let's recap. This pants idea where I was going to be jumping up and down all day long in my sparkling knickers. They won't like that. I can promise you, they will not like that. It's not correct, Sir Alan. Mm. Can we get off this? Can we bring it back to business? I'll move on rapidly then, shall I? The bottom line is, as a businessman, I've got a problem. I've got a problem with the hole in my bloody ass. There's been a lot of interesting stuff come out. Um, some of it has surprised me. The full gourmet dinner, Scottish baby clothes, this green stuff. 600 pounds of a fish. Some electronic item, four lollipops. The unicycle, one of my video machines. It was the biggest load of toot I've ever seen in my life. This is what us British produce. Quite frankly, I'm shitting frying pans, cocktail sticks and things like that. <laughs> I'm not happy because all of it went down the drain. Then it's lost me money. And here is what the first task is all about. I'm not going to hold your hand because you will be putting your hands up my ass. 
Thanks for having Let me just take a moment to say I'll be the first to, you know, put my hands up. I won't let you down. So, Alan, I don't think I should be fired because I wouldn't put my hand up your ass. Oh. Oh. You're fired. Goodbye. <laughs> the rest of you, can I ask you a, 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 a direct question? Would you like to kiss me? Yes or no? No. no. Well, no, no, not no. Well, yes. Yes, I, no, I won't. Well, I'm asking you the question. I, I, you know, don't take it personally. You tell me. Do you want to kissy kissy my mouth? Yes or no? The answer to that from me is yes. I like that answer. You're high. I can't get over those lips. I love the lips! Sir Alan's search for his apprentice is over. I've got nothing further to say to you that I haven't already said. Alan, piss off.